Hello and welcome everybody to my channel and uh, Omini Bio Entrance and today we will be discussing DBT JRF Entrance Exam Question Paper conducted in the year 2013. I am discussing the part 2 of this question paper. Uh, part 1 I have already discussed earlier. Then next one. To evaluate cytotoxic potential of an anti-cancer drug, which is the molecule of choice? So it is H3 thymidine. Answer is option A. Then next one. A monoclonal antibody binds to G-actin but not to F-actin. What does this tell you about the epitope recognized by the antibody? So... Answer is option D. The epitope is likely to be a structure that is buried when G-actin polymerizes to F-actin. Answer is option D. Then glutathione is. Glutathione is made of three amino acids that is cysteine, glutamic acid and glycine. So the answer is option A. Which of the following amino acid is optically inactive? It is glycine. It has got two hydrogen atoms attached to the uh, alpha carbon atom. So it is optically inactive. Answer is option A. Protein responsible for transport of oxygen from alveoli to tissue of the tissue. From alveoli to the tissues is. So it is oxyhemoglobin. Oxygen is transported from alveoli to tissues in the form of oxyhemoglobin that is in association that is the association of oxygen with hemoglobin. So the answer is option B oxyhemoglobin. Process of formation of ATP from ADP during photosynthesis is referred to as photophosphorylation. Answer is option A. Glycogen and cellulose are so glycogen is a branched polymer of glucose and glucose residues are linked linearly by alpha 1,4 glycosidic bonds and the branches via alpha 1,6 glycosidic bonds and the alpha glycosidic bonds give rise to helical polymer structure. The helical structure is stabilized by hydrogen bonds between uh, OH groups on subsequent glucose units so glycogen is helical whereas cellulose is beta sheet structure respectively answer is option a topo isomerase 1 does not acquire atp through its though it does cleavage and ligation of dna this is because it converts the energy liberated during the cleavage by binding with tyrosine of an enzyme and reused. Answer is option D. The next one. A synthetic mRNA of repeating sequence CA, 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 CA is used for a cell-free protein synthesizing system like the one used by Nirenberg. If we assume that protein synthesis can begin without the need for an initiator codon, what products or products would you expect to occur after protein synthesis? So C A C A C A you use three codons at a time, three nucleotides at a time. So C A C then A C A C A C A C A. So C A C will code for one amino acid, A C A will code for another amino acid. So it is a one single protein with an alternating sequence of different amino acids, two different amino acids. So answer is option D. Then uh, you have obtained you have obtained a sample of DNA and you transcribe mRNA from this DNA and purify it. You then separate the two strands of the DNA and analyze the base composition of each strand and, the M and of the mRNA. You obtain the data shown in the table below. Which strand of the DNA is the coding strand serving as template for mRNA synthesis? So they have asked for coding strand. So it is strand 1 because that has the same base composition as that of mRNA. Answer is option A that is strand 1. Then next one, which of the following tools of recombinant DNA technology is incorrectly 
paired with its application. So it is DNA ligase enzyme that cuts DNA creating sticky ends. It is not uh, cutting DNA, it is for joining DNA strands. So the answer here is option B. Then next one. Among the six types of plant cation channels identified, the shaker channel has been most thoroughly characterized. The shaker channels are highly selective to which of the following cations. So the shaker channel is an ion channel that allows potassium ions to pass through membrane. So the answer here is option B that is potassium. Then next one. The process of oxidation of plastohydroquinone molecule during light reaction of photosynthesis take place in which of the following major protein complexes of the thylakoid membrane. So plastoquinone is reduced when it accepts two electrons from the photosystem tube and hydrogen ions from the stroma of the chloroplast thereby forming plastoquinol quinone, or plastoquinol. It transfers uh, electrons further down the electron transport chain to plastocyanin through cytochrome B6F. When electrons are accepted by cytochrome B6F, plastoquinone become oxidized. So the answer here is option D. Cytochrome B6F. Then next one. Metabolic engineering experiment, the flux from primary carbon metabolism was diverted towards methyl erythritol phosphate pathway, MEP pathway. Which one of the following secondary metabolites will be maximally synthesized? So, MEP pathway is involved in isoprenoid, terpenoid or terpene biosynthesis. So, the answer here is option C that is terpenes. Then next one. Which one of the following sequence of events is the first to take place during systemic production of protease inhibitors in the young tomato leaves following insect feeding? So protease inhibitors, they serve as an integral role in the plant defense against herbivory from insects or microorganisms. So in tomato, expression of proteinase inhibitor events are triggered by a peptide hormone named systemine. Prosystemine is a pro-hormone of 200 amino acid residues which releases a bioactive peptide of 18 amino acids called as systemine. This signaling peptide is involved in the activation of defense gene. So they have asked which uh, the first to take place during systemic production of protease inhibitors in young tomato leaves following insect feeding that is prosystemine is synthesized. So prosystemine, it is a pro-hormone of 200 amino acid residues which releases bioactive peptide of 18 amino acids called as systemine. So first is prosystemine is synthesized. Answer is option A. Which of the following is not a typical feature of hypersensitive response observed in plants during the attack of invading microbes? So hypersensitive response is a mechanism used by plants to prevent the spread of microbial pathogens. So they have asked which is not a typical feature of hypersensitive response observed in plants during microbial attack. So cells immediately surrounding the infection site die rapidly. That happens often preceded by rapid accumulation of reactive oxygen species. Yes. Results in increase of net rate of photosynthesis. No, it doesn't result in any increase of photosynthesis. So option C is the answer. Plants carrying a transgene for glyphosate resistance will survive a field application of glyphosate that kills weeds. Which of the following enzyme is inhibited by glyphosate? So it is EPSP that is enol pyruvate shikimate 3 phosphate synthase. Answer is option C. The next one. Haploid sperm from one species and an haploid egg from another species may form diploid interspecies hybrid. Meiosis in these plants generally fail but can lead to rare duplicated gametes called allopolyploids. Answer is option A. The next one. 
genes essential for embryo organization have been identified by mutant analysis which one of the following mutants show reduction or inhibition of cotyledons and show typical meristem answer is gurke now before that arabidopsis mutants with the defects in the apical basal pattern can be classified based on the part of the seedling that is missing now if the apical portion is missing it is called as gurke if it is the central portion that is missing it is called fecal if it is the basal portion that is missing it is monopterous and if it is the terminal ends that are missing then it is called as the no so the answer the answer here is gurke because they have asked for inhibition of cotyledons and shoot apical meristem that is the apex is not present so it is called as gurke answer is option d then which one of the following is true for polymer trapping model of sugar diffusion in plants so as per this model there is mesophyll intermediary cell and the sieve elements now sucrose synthesized in the mesophyll diffuses this is the mesophyll this is the mesophyll sucrose is synthesized there uh, diffuses from the bundle sheet cells into intermediary cells through the plasmodesmata in the intermediary cell raffinose is synthesized from sucrose and galactose thus maintaining the diffusion gradient for sucrose because of the large size raffinose is not able to diffuse back to mesophyll cells so what it will do it as a result the concentration of transport sugar rises in the intermediary cells and sieve elements that is the Uh, polymer trapping model and it make three predictions what are they sucrose should be more concentrated in the mesophyll than in the intermediary cells the enzymes for raffinose and stachyosynthesis should be preferentially located in the intermediary cell the plasmodesmata linking the bundle sheet cells and the intermediary cells should exclude molecules larger than sucrose so these are the three predictions made by the polymer trapping model now they have asked which of the following is true for polymer trapping model of sugar diffusion in plant cells should be less concentrated in the mesophyll than intermediary no sucrose should be more concentrated in the mesophyll than the intermediary cells so answer is option b then the t dna of agrobacterium must be excised from its circular plasmid for its transfer into plant cells which one of the following complexes of the bir protein is responsible for dna nick at the left and right border so it is bir d1 and d2 answer is option c what will happen to the growth of vertically growing root if half of the root cap is removed now this is vertically oriented control root cap this is the root cap this is the control and this is vertically oriented one then removal of the cap from the vertic vertical root slightly stimulates elongation growth this case but if you remove half of the cap it causes a, the vertical root to bend towards the side with the remaining half cap so here they have asked in the what will happen if the root is half of the root cap is removed from a vertically growing root so it will bend towards the side with the remaining half of root cap answer is option a GA2 oxidase cDNA from bean is over expressed in wheat plant by genetic engineering which one of the following phenotypes correctly describes the resultant transgenic plant so GA2 oxidase it is it reduces the endogenous bioactive gibberellic acid content of the plant and hence it result in dwarfism so what will happen when GA2 cDNA from bean is over expressed in wheat what will happen it will result in plants which are shorter answer is option b then next one which one of the following statement is not correct regarding ethylene signaling in plants 
ethylene binds and inactivate ethylene receptors that is correct then in the absence of ethylene the receptors are inactive and suppresses ethylene response answer is not correct it is in the presence of ethylene it inactivate the ethylene receptors in the absence of ethylene the receptors are active that is the answer The next one, leaf abscission is a phenomenon regulated by the amount of oxygen and ethylene. Which one of the following statement is correct regarding the amount of oxygen and ethylene during leaf abscission? So, ethylene uh, favors leaf abscission and oxygen inhibits leaf, uh, abscission. So, the answer will be option C that is reduction in oxygen and increase in ethylene. Transgenic plants were developed with the gene conferring canamycin resistance. Four independent T0 events were self and 100 T1 seeds were germinated on canamycin. The number of canamycin sensitive and canamycin resistant progeny obtained in each case is listed below. Identify the line where transgene was integrated at a single locus. So it is line 2 because it is showing the 3 is to 1 Mendelian ratio between canamycin resistant and canamycin sensitive. So answer is option 2 or B. Then using transgenic technology male sterile plants are developed by so expressing Barney's gene in the tapetum. If you they have given Burstar also Burstar is for re, uh, restoring uh, male fertility. So uh, it is expressing Barney's gene in tapetum, not protein. Answer is option A. Then one of the concerns in commercial usage of transgenic plant is the spread of transgene through pollen flow. Which one of the following methods is used to circumvent this problem? So this problem it can be circumvented by using chloroplast transformation. Because chloroplast is maternally inherited, so pollen grains will not carry genes introduced in chloroplast so answer will be option b that is chloroplast transformation the next one which one of the following can be used as a selection marker for developing transgenic plants so they have asked for selection marker it is hygromycin phosphotransferase the others are select uh, reporter genes answer is option d then AC transposon is an, it is an autonomous element. Answer is option B. SSR is said to be a dash type of marker. It is a co-dominant marker. Direct DNA uptake by protoplast can be stimulated by polyethylene glycol. Answer is A. Aroma in rice is due to 2-acetyl-1-pyrrolene. Answer is option D. The male sterile cytoplasm in pearl millet is TIFT23A. Answer is option C. The pathogen against which crop rotation can be adopted. Now what is soil bond? Soil bond is carried on or beneath the soil surface. Soil inhabitant is an organism that maintains its population in the soil over an extended period of time. That is, soil inhabitants are uh, ubiquitous in nature. Soil invaders are organisms whose population in soil diminishes in several months to years. They are um, not ubiquitous, they are local. So, soil invaders are local, soil inhabitants are ubiquitous. Now, what is crop rotation? Crop rotation is the practice of growing a series of different types of crop in the same area across a sequence of growing seasons. So it reduces reliance on one set of nutrients, pest and weed uh, pressure. And the probability of developing resistant to pest and weeds is also reduced if there is crop rotation. So growing the same crop in the same place for many years can also known as monocropping. It uh, gradually depletes the soil of nutrients and uh, 
it selects a competitive pest and weed community and this result in the use of uh, synthetic fertilizers and herbicides now a well designed crop rotation can reduce the need for synthetic fertilizers and herbicides by using um, ecosystem services from a diverse set of crops hence crop rotation is useful for soil invaders soil invaders i told you they are uh, local now if you use uh, crop rotation for soil invaders then uh, they will not be able to survive for a uh, long time and uh, they, and you can also reduce the amount of usage of <coughs> synthetic fertilizers and herbicides. Now, if you are using the monocrop type of um, um, that is mo monocropping, that is if you are using the monocropping that is growing the same crop in the same place for many years, then it will result in highly competitive pest and weed community and this will result in increased use of synthetic fertilizers and herbicides and weedicides. So, the pathogen against which crop rotation can be adopted is soil invader. Answer is option A. Now, iodine test is used in the detection of. So, iodine test is for tungro infected leaves develop dark blue streaks on iodine test. So, tungro virus. Answer is option B. When urea denatured inclusion bodies are renatured, protein aggregates can sometimes be found due to misfolding. For small proteins with no disulfide linkages and a single domain, the probability of misfolding is highest when? When urea is diluted stepwise. Answer is option A. Then next one. The net charge of a protein may not be sufficient to determine whether a protein will bind to an ion exchanger this is due to this is due to heterogeneous spatial distribution of charged amino acids answer is option b then next one which one of the following purification steps always require high initial ionic strength in the sample so it is a hydrophobic interaction chromatography answer is option b then in cefedex g series gel filtration as the g number increases from uh, 10 15 25 200 the pore size of the beads so you have cefedex g series with cefedex g10 cefedex g15 cefedex g25 200 so the pore size also increases. Answer is option B. The next one. There are five classes of immunoglobulins. Uh, IgM, IgG, IgD, IgA and IgE. Upon stimulation of B cells through B cell receptor and a switch factor, which one of the following Ig classes does not switch? So, class switching is a process whereby an activated B cell changes its antibody production from IgM to either IgD, sorry, IgA, IgG or IgE depending on the functional requirement. But which of the following Ig class does not switch is IgD. Answer is option C. Next one. For quantification of an antigen, researchers A, B, C, D use the following setup which one of the following setup is the most sensitive naturally uh, avidin biotin in is high affinity binding hence option c is correct answer is option c antigen specific antibody captured antigen was probed with biotin labeled antibody <coughs> specific to the antigen followed by streptavidin hrp so it is option C. Then a mouse deficient in ROR gamma T will be deficient in. So retinoid related orphan receptor gamma T that is ROR gamma T. It is a member 
of the nuclear receptor family that is expressed in T cell compartment. So, R O R gamma it regulates the development of T cells in the thymus and the differentiation of affected T cells in the periphery. Then R O R gamma T is considered to be the master regulators in the development of T helper 17 cells. T H 17 cells. Uh, which have an essential role in the development of many autoimmune uh, disorders. So, that a mouse deficient in RO or gamma T will be deficient in TH17 cells. The next one. The specificity in interferon alpha beta induced response come from. So, interferon alpha is produced in the leukocytes infected with virus while interferon beta is from the fibroblast infected with virus. So, type 1 interferon, they consist of structurally similar cytokines and include 13 to 14 subtypes of interferon alpha along with interferon beta, uh, interferon epsilon, k, omega, delta, tau, etc. So interferon alpha is produced in the leukocytes infected with uh, virus while beta it is from the fibroblast infected with virus. Now STAT1 and STAT2 proteins are key mediators of interferon signaling and are essential component of the cellular antiviral response and adaptive immunity. So they associate with IRF9 interferon regulatory 9 to form heterotrimeric transcription factor complex known as ISGF3. IS, ISGF3 binds to ISRES uh, specific promoter sequences. So the answer here is a complex of uh, IRF9 STAT1 STAT2 binding to ISRE sequence. Answer is option B. Then CD152 deficient mice have lympho, lymphoproliferative disorder. The disorder is characterized by it is characterized by very high T cell proliferation. Then MHC class 2 molecule can signal because it it interacts with membrane receptors to make a supramolecular complex that signals. Answer is option C. The next one. T cells in CD28 deficient mice do not proliferate in response to re-exposure to the same antigen. This is because CD28 is one of the proteins expressed on T cells that provide co-stimulatory signals required for T cell activation and uh, survival. Uh, both CD4 and CD8 T cells express CD28. Now, uh, stimulation of T cell receptor along with co-stimulatory receptors are required for full T cell activation. Now, calcium dependent arm of the um, lymphocyte signaling is activated by the T cell receptor. Under this condition calcium dependent phosphates that is calcineurin removes phosphates from the transcriptional factor NAFT which in turn translocates to the nucleus. Now after this comes the co-stimulator receptor activation. During T cell stimulation the CD28 receptor activates pathways that eventually lead to increased nuclear levels of transcription factor that is example is AP1 much more than just the T cell receptor activation alone. So what happens T cell activation uh, by uh, co-stimulatory receptors uh, for okay. stimulation of a T cell receptor along with uh, co-stimulatory receptors are required for full T cell activation. Now the activated T cell it will uh, 
it will activate the uh, calcium dependent arm of the lymphocyte signaling and this in turn will result in uh, calneurin removing phosphate from the transcriptional factor NAFT and which in turn translocates to the nucleus. Then the co-stimulatory receptor that is CD28 it activate pathway that eventually lead to increased nuclear levels of transcription factors that is AP1. Now what will happen they have asked in CD28 deficient mice because the T cells in CD28 deficient mice do not proliferate in response to re-exposure to the same antigen this is because now this is because of that the T cell are rendered energy. Now what will happen under this, those conditions? TCR signaling without co-stimulatory receptors sufficiently activates only the calcium arm of the signaling leading only to activation of NAFT that is the transcription factor. Now the activated NAFT is unable to form transcriptional complex with AP1. This lead to NAFT forming complex with itself and working as transcription factor that induces energy in the lymphocyte. So the answer here is option C, the T cells are rendered energic. The next one, mm, CD1 molecules are unique antigen presenting molecule because they, because they are class MHC. MHC, they are MHC class 1 like molecules presenting lipid and glycolipid antigens. Answer is option C. Then mutations in common gamma chain of receptors for interleukin 2 cytokine family cause. They cause Excel skid syndrome. Answer is option D. Then which of the following conditions generally favors tumor development? So, impaired cell mediated immunity because activated T cells they kill cancer cells. So here they have asked which of the condition generally favors tumor development is impaired cell mediated immunity. Then which one of the following is not a single gene disease. So it is Turner's uh, syndrome is a random genetic disorder that affects female. In females with Turner's syndrome one X chromosome is missing or abnormal. So the answer here is option D that is Turner syndrome. Dental plaque is an example of the formation of biofilm. Answer is option C. Rheumatic fever is a com complication of rheumatic fever is a complication of streptococcal pharyngitis. Answer is option A. Undulant fever is characteristic of so undulant means the fever is rising and falling like a wave. So that is characteristic of uh, brucellosis. Answer is option B. Bubonic plague is, an, is the infection of lymph nodes. Answer is option D. Then leptospirosis is transmitted by exposure to animal urine and meat products. Answer is option A. Which of the following genes is related with the late onset of Alzheimer's disease? So it is apolipoprotein E4. The next one. The first genetic map that were developed used genes as markers because, because the phenotype governed by the gene could be visually identified and its inheritance pattern followed. Answer is option A. Then which of the following statement is true? There is lesser probability for a crossover to occur between two genes further apart. There is not, this is not lesser probability that is greater probability for crossover to occur between two genes further apart from the genes nearer to each other. Answer is option B that is the true statement. Then in which of the following 
evolutionary processes random changes in allele frequency can lead to loss of genetic diversity that is genetic drift answer is option c Genetic drift is the change in frequency of an existing gene variant in a population due to random sampling of organs. The next one. In human, pointed eyebrows are dominant to smooth eyebrows and widow's peak is dominant to continuous hairline. What phenotypic ratio would you expect in the offspring from a cross between an individual heterozygous for both the genes and an individual homozygous recessive for both the genes? So here uh, I have written capital P for pointed eyebrows and small p for smooth eyebrows, capital W for widow's peak and uh, continuous hairline for small w. Now these are the gametes formed upon cross between heterozygous, an individual that is heterozygous for both the genes and individual homozygous recessive for both the genes. You will get a ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 that is pointed widow's peak then pointed and continuous eyebrows smooth and uh, widow's peak and smooth continuous. So the answer here is option C. 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. The character regulated by holandric genes. So the character it passes from father through son to the grandson. Holandric genes are present on the Y chromosome. So answer is option A. Necrosis that develops in tissues subsequent to denaturation of structural and enzymatic proteins soon after death is appropriately referred to as it is called as coagulative necrosis. Answer is option C. The demyelination of the central nervous system white matter produced by the canine distemper virus is an example of Liquefactive necrosis. Answer is option D. Then cataral exudate is observed in cata, cataral exudate is observed in brain of a cow. Answer is option B. Sudden onset of heavy mortality in chicken with cyanotic comb and wattles, closed eyes, and a semi cause comatose state are characteristic features of foul plague answer is option a most prominent initial symptoms of vitamin a deficiency in cow and horses is it is copious lacrimation answer is a hydropericardium syndrome is otherwise known as it is called as litchi heart disease scromboid fish poisoning is due to High levels of free histidine in fish tissue. Answer is option A. Then the synthetic equivalent of neuropharmacologically active peptides obtained from the marine stell conus magus is synconotide. Uh, it is synthetic form of omega conotoxin peptide in conus magus, a con snail. Answer is option A. Uh, Prophenol oxidase mediated immune system is found in is an important uh, innate immune response against microbial infection in invertebrates. So the answer here is crustacean. Bryostatin is a marine derived anti-cancer agent obtained from it is obtained from Bugula neritina. Answer is C. Viral encephalopathy and retinopathy in fishes are caused by they are caused by bentano da virus. Answer is option A. Environmental gene tags are so they are short DNA sequences used to characterize and distinguish microbial environments. So they are habitat specific functional genes from microbial communities. Answer is option B. Then which one of the following is not true of biophotolysis? So biophotolysis is the process by which water dissociates into molecular hydrogen and oxygen in biological system in the presence of light.
So the answer here is option A. It is a photoheterotrophic process. It is not a photoheterotrophic process. It is a photoautotrophic process. Then which is not a characteristic of plasmid used for the production of DNA vaccines in fish. It is poly T, T tail. Answer is option D. White spot syndrome virus has. It has both vertical and horizontal transmission. Answer is option C. Uh, in horizontal transmission, viruses are transmitted among individuals of the same generation, while vertical transmission occurs from mother to their offspring. Then hemorrhagic septicemia in carp is caused by, it is caused by Aeromonas hydrophila. Answer is C. Primary etiology of epizootic ulcerative syndrome is it is aphanomyces invadens. Answer is option C. The net primary production is net primary production is GPP minus RP RH plus RD. So GPP is energy lost through respiration and metabolic heat loss. RP is plant respiration. RH is respiration of herbivores. And RD is respiration of decomposers. So net primary production is GPP minus RP plus RH plus RD. Then next one. The lower dense region of the atmosphere is known as. It is known as troposphere. Answer is option D. The two most important climatic factors affecting the distribution of world biomes are. They are temperature and biomass. Sorry, temperature and precipitation. Answer is option A. A high BOD value in aquatic environment is indicative of it is BOD is uh, biological oxygen demand, a highly polluted system due to excess of nutrients. Answer is option B. Benthic organisms of the lake or sea are usually decomposers. Answer is D. Which of these biomes would you expect to find coyote living in? So that is in the case of tundra. Answer is option D. The ozone layer saves from lethal UV. It mainly absorbs UV, B and C. Answer is option D. The maximum biodiversity in India occurs at Western Ghats. Answer is option C. Extinction rate is high at Small islands near mainland. Answer is option C. Bootstrapping technique in molecular phylogeny analysis is used to derive additional data sets by. So, it is uh, through uh, additional data sets by swapping the columns in multiple sequence alignment. Answer is option A. Then next one. Which of the following statement regarding scoring matrices of protein is incorrect? Gap is considered as 21st amino acid in deriving some of the scoring matrices. So that is incorrect statement. Gap is considered as equivalent to 21st amino acids in deriving some of the scoring matrices. That is correct. Then next one. The trade-off between sensitivity and specificity can be represented by. So it can be represented by the ROC curve or receiving operating character curve. It is a curve created by plotting the true positive rate against the false positive rate under Various threshold settings. The true positive rate is also known as sensitivity or probability of detection. Uh, the false positive rate is also known as probability of false alarm and can be calculated as 1 minus specificity. So the trade off between sensitivity and specificity can be re re represented by uh, receiving orbiting character curve answer is option a 
then which of the following interactions are not characteristic of epitope paratope interaction so it is disulfide bond then next one while building a model for of protein using homology modeling approach special care need to be exercised while assigning conformation of non glycine from glycine answer is option b then which of the following complementarity determining regions of antibodies is sequentially and conformationally the most variable so it is cdr3 of heavy chain that is most variable answer is option d next one lis technique is used in mummer algorithm for it is for sorting of the mums uh, answer is option b then next one the number of internal nodes of a phylogenetic tree indicate it indicate the number of times otus that is operational trans taxonomic units were clustered together answer is option a which one of the following statement is false uh, needleman and munch algorithm is for used for global alignment yes there could be several possible local alignment as part of a global alignment yes in needleman munch algorithm sequence are randomized by keeping length and composition same yes the term identity similarity and homology are expressed as percentage that is not correct because only identity and similarity are expressed in percentage but homology is not expressed in percentage next one structure determination of myoglobin in 1958 revealed that the protein consists mostly of it consists mostly of right handed alpha helix answer is option a the dielectric constant of protein interior is likely to be much smaller than that of water the average dielectric constant inside the protein is relatively low about 6 to 7 and reaches a value of about 20 to 30 at the protein surfaces so it is much smaller than that of water in a helix turn helix motif in proteins which one of the following is true for binding to nucleic acids so the second helix is important in binding the helix turn helix motif is commonly found in proteins that bind dna that is transcription especially transcription factors the motif is composed of approximately 21 uh, residues which fold into two helices known as helix 2 and helix 3 sequence specific dna binding is mediated by the uh, recognition helix that is helix 3 that is second helix which docks into the dna major group forming hydrogen bond and van der waals contacts with functional group on the exposed base pair and the deoxy ribose phosphate backbone so the answer here is option d that is the second helix is important in binding so they have asked in helix turn helix motif in protein which one of the following is true for binding to nucleic acid now sequence specific dna binding it is mediated by uh, recognition helix that is the second helix or helix 3 the next one in prokaryote ribosome structure the peptidyl transferase activity of the ribosome is found it is found entirely in the ribosomal rna answer is option a then maximum parsimony analysis in the context of molecular phylogeny implies parsimony is the principle that the simplest explanation that can explain the data is to be preferred so the answer here is simpler hypothesis are preferred over complex hypothesis answer is option c so that's it uh, thank you for watching my channel please do like share and subscribe thank you